Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Fox here. Some of you saw my other videos on the NVIDIA throttling problem, and I'm looking at the actual driver files of the hex editor. Not liking what I'm seeing. I um, was also looking at power, but if you notice, the older drivers on the left um, don't have the same thing as those on the right. And the captions that I'm seeing on these things in the driver I don't really understand but I sure don't like the way they look um, don't know what to make of that but something obviously changed and the behavior is not good I'm just suspicious that those have something to do with it so we're going to take another look at 345.20 drivers that work fine those were released in February not having any problem with throttling whatsoever I'm going to run a benchmark here just test one 3D Mark 11 over um, with stock clocks and we're going to watch the behavior and I'm going to run one right behind it with an overclock then we're going to jump over to NVIDIA's newest driver this time I'm actually going to monitor power draw and you can see that video inset you can watch the behavior of the power being drawn from the wall again we're running stock clocks right now If you notice in the performance cap reason, there's nothing there, it's totally empty. So there's no adverse behavior going on at all. Power draw is hold, holding nice and steady for the most part, a little bit of fluctuation, but really not much. Notice the uh, amount, this machine comes with a 330 watt AC adapter. And we're running stock clocks. Of course, it's a modded V BIOS. Stock V BIOS has exactly the same behavior. Surprisingly enough, it doesn't behave any differently as far as the throttling goes with the bad drivers. I tested it both ways. So we're going to run it here with a little bit of an overclock. Not too aggressive. 157 offset on core, 500 on memory. So just a thousand, you know, a thousand megahertz, mild overclock, a little bit higher power draw. This is still within the ability of the single AC adapter at this clock speed, even though it's rated for 330 watts. Um, it'll run with the single AC adapter at this clock speed. CPU is running 4.3 gigahertz. If I were to bump that up to 4.7, 4.8, we would be exhausting that single um, AC adapter. We'll run it one more, one more time and watch the behavior once more. Again, there's no performance cap reason at all. holding nice and steady the way it's supposed to work there we are works as advertised note the frame rate nice bump so I'm gonna um, install the 353.49 drivers and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the latest nasty driver from NVIDIA. You knew it was nasty if you saw my other videos. It's pretty bad. The throttling is pretty severe. All of the drivers do it, released after February's 345.20 drivers on my M18 XR2 with 780 MSLI. But what I hadn't looked at was what the power was doing when this throttle was going on. And watch the performance gap reason. Here we're running stock clock speeds, no overclock whatsoever. It's gonna hold for a bit and you'll see it start going nuts. 
starts doing that and the clock speeds will drop. The meter on my UPS is not, you know, there's a, a reaction time, so you won't see those in exact sync. So, a uh, notable drop in the frame rate. Look at the performance cap region. We're going to bump it up to the same overclock level with 157 offset. 1006 megahertz. Not a severe overclock, shouldn't have any problem. And watch what the, the uh, UPS meter does, watts meter does now. A little bit more erratic than running stock clock speeds. So it clearly has a problem that needs to be fixed. Based upon what I'm seeing here, it looks like it's definitely related to, to power. Don't know what they changed in the drivers. Whatever it was, obviously wasn't good, so let's hope they fix it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thought you'd want to see what was going on here. Take care.